Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and today we're doing another video for our YouTube series on Kickstarter games that need to be funded. So today's Kickstarter game is Fort Triumph. Tr Fort Triumph is a pretty cool game, I get to test out the demo, I really appreciate it, I appreciate it, yeah I do appreciate how cool of a game it is, I should say there. And uh, I'm going to read off the description for you guys today. Um, but before, I guess, yeah, so we'll just read the description here. So it says, Fort Triumph is a tactical RPG. Fort Triumph is like, yeah, a tactical RPG again, featuring interactive environments and epic quests in a world on the brink of destru destruction. Try our demo. But yeah, so I guess before we get too far ahead again, um, Fort Triumph is being made by the Fort Triumph team. So they had the same name as their game. Um, what they're seeking for right now uh, for their Kickstarter is $75,000 and they got 22830 Pretty impressive so far uh, uh, money. So they got 22 22830 out of the 75000 that they're asking for. Uh, they currently have 617 backers with 22 days ago. So, yeah, this game very well could still come out. Uh, they're asking for quite a bit of money, but there's a lot going on with this game. So, I do believe it does deserve that $75,000. So, yeah, right here is like kind of like the video. Um, you can check it out. And right down here, it's really cool. The first thing you'll see here is they got a down, uh, downloadable demo for you guys to play on Windows, Mac, and Linux. This game will be only coming out for computer for right now. And then maybe they said later they would focus on having a system release. But yeah, the pledges start out uh, pretty high. They got that goes from one dollar to twenty, and then it works its way up pretty quickly here. And uh, but yeah, let's go ahead, and I'm gonna read you right here. This is kind of what they have the description for their game, and it says here, often dubbed a fantasy XCOM, Fort Triumph is a tactical RPG emphasizing the use of environmental interaction to create rich, challenging, and rewarding tactical gameplay. That's really cool. Yeah, I played the demo. Uh, you can check out my video for the demo right here. I'll have this little card popping up for you guys. It's pretty dang cool. Um, it definitely can interact with the environment quite a bit. So that's the main one of the main focuses on this game. So yeah, let's get back to what I was saying here. Uh, we said tactical gameplay. In Ford Triumph, every crate and every tree is a potential weapon in the hands of an experienced tactician. In order to succeed, you will have to burn, freeze, topple, kick around and or outright destroy the scenery at the right moment our game includes hardcore tactical turn-based gameplay fully interactive environments at your disposal heroes evolving by learning new abilities from their class skill trees non-linear contextual generated missions and quests and strategic gameplay on a world map no i haven't seen what this is i think this is just music let's see here Yes, it's just the music for the game. So before we guess, I guess we get going too much further into the game, I'm going to go ahead and upload the video, or a video from their Steam store for you guys to check out. It's just kind of showing um, basic gameplay of the game. Enjoy!
pretty cool trailer. I would have to agree. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I liked it quite a bit. And we're going to be moving on. This kind of talking more about the gameplay. So right here, you'll see that we got the paladin chick, uh, a jobless, useless. I guess she says her name's jobless. I think I did my play. Kicking a crate into a goblin. Like, it's, the environment is fully interactive, which is really cool. Yeah, this game, I guess, if you're wondering, like, what other kind of tactical games it's like, it's very much like Final Fantasy Tactics, Shining Force. Uh, there was a game on the Sega Saturn. I think they had to change the name here in America, but... The game was originally called Mystaria, but I think they had a lawsuit and they changed it to Blazing Heroes. I think that's the name they changed it to. But yeah, it's kind of mind to me the old school 3D uh, tactical turn-based RPGs I used to love and play way back in the day. What were some other good um, tactical RPGs way back in the day? There was this one, I think it was called like Vangrid. That was pretty cool. And the guys would like spray super blood out and you kill them. But yeah, anyway, let's get back to the Kickstarter here. But yeah, you can see where this uh, the Rangers like wrapping rope around here. And dropping uh, the pillar, uh, yeah, did I say rocks? Pillar on a goblin, and then we got the the paladin here kicking over there onto the goblin. And then right here, you can see too, you can kick this box, it hits this enemy, and it causes a chain reaction, and it hits this guy back here. And see, but really, like, see right here, it says, Heroes can combine their abilities in many ways. You can throw the savage out of harm's way or help... Let's see what you can throw the savage out of harm's way or help her uh, close the distance by launching her forward or place your melees in the path of a thrown enemy, granting the opportunity to attack. I think there's probably like kind of a bill you would set up. So when it comes over there, it would smack it uh, over there. So, yeah, we've got a kind of uh, example here. We'll see it. She, the mage pushes up there and attacks. Cool. So I imagine that works against you as well in the game. I didn't, haven't got that far in the demo yet uh, to see that happen. And then we have the tree being falling over onto uh, a goblin. And it looks like an already dead spider there. Uh, yeah, we get elemental abilities and all that kind of talk about it. And here's the heroes for you guys. So this is the savage. The savage is a melee powerhouse able to unleash multiple attacks in a single turn. A blind fury of claw, teeth, and sheer fury. She change our charges into the battle and dishes out incredible damage. These are all female characters so far uh, that I've seen in the game. So I don't know if there's any male characters, but I think this might be just the team you have. It could be more. I don't know at this point. The paladin is reliable pillar uh, supporting... The party able to withstand heavy damage and strengthen others with words of encouragement while often defensive do not under, under, underestimate her mighty hammer. That's the paladin. And then we got the uh, ranger here. We have very standard D&D kind of characters here. Armed with an arsenal of arrows and keen senses, she hunts her prey from afar. The ranger often prefers to find a safe perch and snipe at her enemies and Fellow warriors learn to rely on her powerful covering fire. And then we got the mage. The mage of the arcane. A mage of the arcane able to channel the elements and reshape the battlefield. She can teleport across the field, fling death at her foes. But should her powers fail, the fragile maid will be quickly overwhelmed. Yeah, let's no, see what here it says. Our core team of heroes is composed of four classes, paladin, mage, ranger, and savage. Yeah, each of the classes have an array of unique abilities affecting both the environment as well as their traits. And then traits kind of explain their like skill trees they kind of get. It's kind of um, like the new uh, Diablo or I guess World of Warcraft kind of skill tree. So you can kind of see it. Um, it's kind of similar in that sense. It can level up stuff. And then they talk about the world here. You can read the world descriptions on your own. I'm not going to cover everything on <laughs> for this video. Otherwise, it would take way, 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 way too long. And we got some cool art. So, yeah, you can see here's the world. And it's kind of falling apart here. Um, might as well show you this stuff. And then we got, like, a room here. And then I guess, yeah, you can see up there. We already show that a little bit more. And uh, here's like the main uh, piece of art for the game that I've seen a lot of lately. And then with some more art here, pretty good looking stuff. And then look at that. I wish I had 10. The Reaver of Wars pledge. That's really crazy. A lot of good rewards there. And then right here, yeah, here we go. So you can see the tiers and rewards they have offering here. They got a lot of cool stuff to offer for backing this game, which is really cool. And. Yeah, they're going to have beta access if you spend $30 or more at that point. And then we got the, the VO, v, I, v, or VOIP session. I never heard of that word, so I don't know what that is. But it'd be cool to look up, I guess. And uh, 
and day in the office, early access party, and design a hero class. So I guess they're going to have some more hero classes. And then you can pay additional $15 to get an extra copy of the game. And then, yeah, you can see the pledge awards here to get the developer updates form badge, dev poll access, name in the credits, beta access, digital game, digital manual, digital soundtrack, make an enemy. And that's another thing is I don't think they have any rewards where they actually mail out stuff to you, which, I mean, I really kind of like those things. And uh, Kickstarters, but I hate having to pay the extra funding. So I'm always appreciative when you get stuff that you don't actually have to uh, spend extra money on, which is weird for me because I'm always about that gamer that always wants the physical copies of games but in these cases i'm okay with sometimes not having a physical copy of something and then yeah we just pretty much talked it all over there and uh we don't need to go too much more in there and then they got their social goals so we'll go ahead and read their social goals for you guys because this is kind of important stuff and it will help them out and hopefully help out everyone so while your support is the fuel that can drive fort triumph to even greater heights we need your help and telling fellow gamers and tactics lovers about it and making our community bigger. The more adventurer adventurer joins our quest, the more likely we'll more likely we'll be able to put into the game. It wow, I'm all messed up there. So the more we are likely to be able to put into the game. There we go. So so right here, this right here. Oh, we can click it. I don't know what it does. Oh, it's taking us somewhere. Oh, it's taking us to their Kickstarter. Um, let's go back here. So, we'll, yeah, we'll cover it. We're already covering the Kickstarter, so we don't, or the Twitter. Yeah, I guess we could go back there. Um, here we go. There we go. We'll click that, and we'll click that, and we'll show you off some of the other things. Okay. So, help us get the word out on Twitter. Tweet and tag us or retweet our updates. If we reach 3,000 followers on Twitter, we will release a wallpaper pack for all backers. Hey, that's pretty cool. So, they're offering out prizes just for sp spreading the word here for them and then for their facebook let's see it goes let's the world know about the adventures of fort triumph share our campaign on facebook to help us get the word out for every 200 shares we will add a new harbinger of doom mission cool and then i i don't know what this one is let's we'll see we will include a multiplayer system that will integrate and support interactions between twitch streamers streamers and viewers if we can get streamed and viewed by more than 50,000 viewers. That'd be pretty cool. So, and then we're here it goes, we want you to benefit by telling people about us and we will do, we'll be doing it in two major ways. The first is unlocking the content based on our social goals. The second is by rewarding you personally for your help or helping our effort. So yeah, guys, like another thing I'd like to mention, uh, I would really, really like it if you could spend some money on helping this Kickstarter and since we're talking about this kind of stuff and if you can't please 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 uh share this video on video on your social media websites and also share this kickstarter on your social media websites as well it you no know, even if you can't throw money out being able to sh just sharing this information or this video really 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 actually helps out the you no know, these kickstarters get funded sometimes because you know even if you can't spend money, maybe two or three of your friends might be able to if they just seen that you guys shared this on their social media. And if you could do both, that's super excellent as well. Please, 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 if you can do both, that'd be excellent. Uh, but at the very minimum, please at least share this on your social media websites. And then this is kind of like talking about the team here. Yeah, we'll go... Eh. I guess we'll read just a little bit here for you guys. We won't go over too much of it. So right here, it goes, um, We have been working on the game for almost three years, starting as a group of three friends working together from home and growing over time to become a small team of uh, programmers, artists, and writers working from an office located in the heart of Tel Aviv. And then Tel Aviv? I think so. This is our first independent project. We are very passionate about making it and absolutely ecstatic about it how it's shaping up if you haven't already try our demo get a f get a first hand feel of our direction let's see during the last year we started working on the game full time however we need the community the support to make our vision come true and stay independent yeah cool 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 guys and you can read this more uh it looks like they're building an office tearing up some stuff good old buddies here and then yeah it shows uh how where your funding's going so you kind of know where a lot of your uh funding is going for this game and 10 percent of it will be going to fluttery and then 90 percent will be going to awesome sauce and then they got featured on a bunch of cool websites here indie db uh, squaresoft collective that's pretty cool game jolt and then they got a, kind of like a thank you here of all the characters mentioning what's going on 
And then we go back up here and you can see how much <laughs> money you want to spend on the game. Yeah, they got all those are all gone, the $15 pledge. No more of those. There's a 10,000 pledge, 5,000 pledge, 2,000 pledge, 1,000, 250, 150, 185, 60, 45, 35, and 30, and 20. Cool. All right, yeah. On Plus, right here, guys. Download the demo for whatever system you guys are using. It's right there. And I guess we don't have much too much more to talk about. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much. I hope this video was enjoyable for you guys and you learned a little bit about this game. And we'll know if you like guys like it. I hope you guys are going to kick some money towards them. But again, guys, like I said before, um, if you can spend some money towards this Kickstarter, it'd be great. I'd like to see this game get fully funded. I played the demo and it's pretty, pretty cool so far. Um, you know, I really hope and wish wish them the best. I hope they do hit that seventy five thousand. And if they don't, I would love for them to see them continue doing. Uh, try this again, maybe, or see some other way of funding uh, Fort Triumph because it's a really cool game, and I would look forward to playing it all the way, and a full version of it. But yeah, um, what else can we cover real quick? Our Facebook's mm -hmm. pretty neat. The shows look at this guy's kicking holes in the wall for whatever reason. He's he's really pumped about his game or something. He's like, yeah, really excited for Fort Triumph. Maybe he's he, He's involved in this game a little too much about destroying the environment. <laughs> and then we got their Twitter here. And their Twitter's pretty cool, too. You can see all the stuff. And then they got a, a video here. He's kind of walking through, explaining why, uh, what's going on with, um, why you should fund the game. And kind of explain the, the general history and everything about the game. And then you can check out their website right here at forttriumph.com. Um, got some cool stuff here as well. And then got some, uh, talking about the game and then you can see their steam store page right here as well. I uh, got all that stuff going on there and, uh, yeah, you can download the demo from here too. If you don't feel like downloading from wherever else, but yeah, you can, uh, uh, the other links from the Kickstarter, but yeah, this is right here. You can download the game, the demo of it and try it out for yourself to see if you actually enjoy it and would like to throw some money at this game. And then that's just their community page. Once again, if you can kick some money towards this Kickstarter, that'd be great. Um, and if you could share the social media stuff as well, if you could do both of those, that'd be great. And if you can't uh, kick any money, please, 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 at the very least, share this on your social media websites, your Twitter, your Facebooks, um, your Tumblr, all those jazz, all that kind of stuff. And spread the word around so we can see this Kickstarter get funded. So, yep. Um, I would like to say again, a thank you to Fort Triumph, uh, for allowing me to cover your game here and give me a chance to play on the demo. It's pretty cool. And I wish you the best of luck. So as I always say at the end of every single one of my videos for you guys, flip that bacon. See you next time. And goodbye. Big heart out to my fans. Big heart out to the Fort Triumph guys and everyone else out there. It's fun this game. Goodbye.